Godzilla X Kong The New Empire is the fifth movie in the MonsterVerse cinematic universe in which we see a giant lizard and a giant ape fight. By the way tell me in the comments whom do you support? Giant lizard or a giant ape? So this movie really gives you everything that you expect from a MonsterVerse movie. So if you are familiar with the MonsterVerse franchise, you know what to expect from it, right? You expect a lot of fights between monsters, you expect giant monsters fighting each other, then you expect human cities being destroyed, you expect humans being killed and you enjoy that. You see a few massy moments with our huge monsters as well but at the end of the day you seek for a lot of cool moments and essentially fun which you get in this movie as well. But now let's talk about the story of this movie and don't worry I'll just be telling you the surface level story of it. So now from the previous movie we know Hollow Earth has been discovered and our Kong, our Kong is being situated in Hollow Earth. Now in the present day there is an agreement between Godzilla the king of most monsters and our Kong that Godzilla won't enter the Hollow Earth and he will only reside on the, on the surface level and he will fight the other monsters the other titans from the surface of the earth but at the same time Kong will reside in Hollow Earth and he won't step a foot on the surface of the earth. So that's the agreement between these two giants. But then in this movie a common threat arises and to battle that threat are both giant monsters has to get together. But in this story there are a lot of involvements of human as well that there is a lot of exposition from the human side of things as well so that was pretty interesting to watch as well. But one of the things about this movie was the main villain of this movie was mentioned or you know introduced pretty late in the story or the reveal of that you know that villain was done pretty late in this movie which was kind of good but that also hampered the screen time of the villain but I'm not complaining because anyways the build up or you know the hype that you want to feel about that villain was done all right that was done pretty good but yeah as I said his reveal was done quite late and that might have you know hampered the screen time of him or the build up of the villain and there is one notable thing in this movie that this movie explores a lot about Kong and the world of Kong and his people as we have seen in the trailer as well that mini Kong also appears in this movie we'll talk about him later that's a very very interesting plot but coming back to the main point the movie was largely focused on the Kong aspect of things but at the same time Godzilla felt like just an extended cameo in the movie. Like this movie barely focuses anything on Godzilla. Now I'm to talk about Kong and Mini Kong. Firstly, I'll talk about Kong. I feel pity for the big guy. Really man, in almost every movie he gets beaten up so bad, so bad. And in this movie as well, he does get beaten pretty bad. And that's just the nature of the story of Kong I think. But the emotions in this movie as well with Kong are so strong as they have been with every movie. Every time Kong appears be it the animated series as well you feel a lot of emotions for the Kong, the Kong the character and this movie as well and in this movie as well you feel those emotions with Kong and at the same time the introduction of mini Kong boy that was fun that was really really fun. Mini Kong will be a surprise package for you and which also will dive deeper into the emotional side of things. So watch out for that. Now let's talk about the fights. The fights are again awesome and there is not just one particular set piece but there are a lot of fighting in this movie like there is a fight scene of Godzilla then there is this Kong with Kong with some other people I mean other monsters and then obviously we have the team up as well. So there are a lot of fight scenes and every fight scene is very much enjoyable. Now I feel the need to state the obvious that is the movie of MonsterVerse so therefore you know don't really think a lot about the logic or the storyline or the technology and all those things don't really think too much about that and that's the case with almost every MonsterVerse movie and in this movie as well that's the same case you just have to be there to enjoy the fights and the fights and by the way it's not like the movie is illogical or anything like that the story is good enough as well but at the same time as you guys know that it's a monsterverse movie so you know don't really think more about the story but yeah having said that there is a lot of mystery in this movie as well like who is the villain and why Godzilla is doing the things that Godzilla is doing at this point in time that really you know gives this movie a nice enough mystery to carry forward the story. But to wrap things up I would like to say that this movie again follows the footsteps of every monsterverse movie in which you have big massy moments and you have fun you have to you know ignore the logic of this movie most of the times but at the end of the day you have fun watching monsters battling each other and that's what this movie provides as well so that's what i want to talk about in this video and you could some check out some other videos on my channel as well and as always thank you so much for watching